In this video, I'll show you how to add a Elementor sidecar to your WooCommerce store for free in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our WooCommerce store and throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to add a sidecar similar to this one here. We can also open a sidecar if we go ahead and click our menu item. Okay, so it opens up our sidecar. So there's no need for the customer to actually go ahead and click through to the cart page, which is an extra page to load. And it just adds friction to the checkout process. So this way, it's just a bit more streamlined and the customer can quickly see what's in the basket and remove what's in the basket, add coupons if they want, go ahead and take you up on any offers that you might have. And if they want, they can continue shopping or just proceed to the checkout. So if you want to create a similar setup to this on your Elementor site, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. There's a free and a pro version, and I'll walk you through the difference as we go through this video. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard and let's get straight into it. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin, you just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we go plugins, add new, upload, install, and activate the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Click activate, toggle on all-in-one at checkout plugin. So we'll go ahead and click the all-in-one checkout plugin here. And now the next step is to actually enable our side cart, okay, for Elementor. So we'll just click on where it says mini cart. So the wording might change and depending on when you watch this video, it might say mini cart or it might say side cart. It's the same thing, okay? The first thing you wanna actually do is just go ahead and toggle this to on, okay? And then we can specify the position of our side cart. So we can show it on the bottom left or on the bottom right, okay? Currently I've got it displaying on the bottom left. We can change it to the bottom right if we want, but I'm gonna leave it to the bottom left for this video. Okay, and then we've got the option as well to enable our order bumps, okay, which is basically this upsell offer here. And this upsell offer, um, you can set up various um, conditions. For example, this upsell product will only show if the customer has this particular t-shirt in their basket, okay? And this t-shirt um, complements this um, vest well. So this is why we're displaying this um, upsell, okay? So it's a thoughtful upsell. So if you wanna learn more on how to add um, upsells, I'll leave a link in the description below and you'll also see a notification on screen um, showing you how to add a similar upsell offer to this one, okay? So let's continue. Um, we've got the option to enable the coupon section. Currently we've got it um, enabled. So we've got our coupon section here. Customers can enter in their coupon directly from the site cart. Okay, so it totally removes the need to actually navigate to the cart page, which is just an extra step in the checkout process. So we can disable this. Okay, we can choose um, the position of our upsell offer. So we can display it at the bottom, like we're showing it now, or we can show it above the customer order. Personally, I recommend just showing it below it, okay? So we can display the order bump within the site cart um, with or without the discount. So let's say, for example, um, this particular product here. Here we can see it's for £25, um, whatever your currency is. Okay, whereas if we navigate to the checkout, the customer will actually see this offer again if they didn't um, take us up on the offer here. But then this time they'll see it for, I think, probably £22, um, I think. Okay, so the beauty of this is if a customer don't take you up on an offer here, we can tempt them with a discount um, on a checkout page. Okay, so that's that option there. And then finally, we can allow customers to add the upsell directly from the mini cart. Okay, so this makes sense, okay. And then we've got the option to enable our free shipping progress bar, okay, which is what you see here. So it shows you how far away you are from unlocking free shipping. Okay, and we can set our threshold here. We can customize the message as well that they see at each stage, okay? And then finally, our last two options, we've got the option to automatically open our Elementor side cart whenever a customer adds um, something to their basket, okay? And then finally, we've got the option to override the default cart icon. Okay, so typically when a customer clicks on this, um, menu cart icon here it usually takes them to the cart page right so we can actually override that setting and then whenever a customer clicks on it it will just open up our side cart and um, personally i recommend this because as i said it's just less step so it's just less step in the checkout process okay and that should hopefully help give you a lift on your um, conversions 
Okay, so we'll get back to this in a second. I'll show you how you actually enable this option. But first, let's go ahead and add a menu cart to our Elementor header section. So let's head over to our front page. And then what we can do is we'll go ahead and edit um, our header section. Okay, so we've got a few way of accessing this. So we can access it from here or we can access it from um, our dashboard. Okay, I'm assuming you're quite savvy with Elementor. So to access it from the back end, we'll just go templates and then theme builder and then header. And then we've got this one header here. So we can just click um, edit. Or as I said, on the front end, we can just click edit header here. They both lead to the same page. So I've got a few different roles um, with different menu style in the okay? i I've basically set this up. So um, for our desktop, we'll show this um, menu design. For our um, tablets, we'll show this menu design. And then for mobile devices, we'll show this menu design. Okay, so you don't have to do any of this. It's just how I've just set this up, okay? So in your case, most likely you'll just have one um, header section, which is fine. So to add our cart menu icon in a search box, we'll just search um, cart. Okay, and then we just want to click menu cart here. Okay, and then we can just drag and drop it wherever we like. Okay, we've got a few options as well to customize it. So we can choose the styling. So we can change it to a bag. Um, we can change it to a solid bag. Okay, we can include a subtotal as well. We can set the alignment. And then we've got some styling options as well. But since I've already got it here, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this one here. Okay. Okay, so let's navigate back to our homepage and I'll show you how to um, configure that cart takeover, okay? So how we're gonna take over this cart is we basically need to get the CSS class or the CSS ID, okay? So if I click inspect element, if you need help with this section, um, just let us know, probably open up a support ticket um, and let us know and we'll help you out with this, no problem, okay? So we'll just click on this selector option here and then we'll go ahead and, okay, then we'll just click our menu cart. Okay, and then here we've got this class which says, so we've got class and then it says element or widget container. I think this is just a default um, class that they use for all their widget containers. So this wouldn't be a good option for us to use because essentially let's say um, this section here, this widget section here, right, where we've got the title, let's say that had the same class. So if our customer wants to click this, it would open up our mini cart, which we don't want. Okay, so we'll go down one. And then here we can see that our cart is still highlighted, but this time the class is Elementor menu cart underscore wrapper. So this is much more unique and is only used for our menu cart. So we'll copy this um, class here and we'll navigate back to our dashboard. We need to enter our, our item ID or class to trigger the mini card to open. Okay, let me go ahead and delete this. So if you've got a class, you want to start it with a period, no space in between, and then we'll just paste our class name here. If you've got an ID, then you want to start it with the hash sign and then enter in the ID name. Okay, since we've got a class, we're going to use the period, which is a full stop, and then we'll just paste our class name. Okay, then we'll just hit save. And now when we refresh the page on the front end, whenever we click our cart menu, it automatically opens our side cart, okay? okay? A little bonus tip whilst we're here, we're gonna actually go ahead and customize um, this bubble color. So we're gonna go ahead and customize this bubble color here. So as I said, in a future update, we'll integrate um, these styling options within the settings area, okay? But for now, we can just use a bit of code and go ahead and customize it. So I'll show you how we'll get the code and then I'll just give you the code, okay? So again, we'll just um, right click and then we'll click inspect. And then again, we'll click this selector icon here to select our element. And then for example, this bubble, here we can see the class name, woo AIO cart count dash number. Okay, and then when we navigate to this style section over here, okay, we can see the background is, is this gray color. So if I click on it, I can change it to red, for example. I'm gonna change mine to pink so it matches this section here. The text color is already white, so we'll just leave it as it is. Okay, and then finally, we'll go ahead and change this green to a different color. So again, we'll click on our selector icon. Um, before we move on, we actually need to save this. We actually need to save this code here. 
so we can paste it into our custom CSS on Elementor. So ideally what you do is you would go ahead and copy the class name, okay, which is this here. So we know it's a class because it's got a period before it. Then we've got the class name, then we've got curly brackets, then we need to close the curly brackets, okay? And then in between the curly brackets is where we'd add our custom CSS, okay? For example, we could say background. So I'm just copying this background option here and then pasting it in here as well. Okay, so that looks fine. So I've already got this through a clipboard, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save it, okay? So again, we've still got our selector enabled, so I'm gonna click on um, the main cart bubble, for example. Okay, and again, in styles, when we scroll down, we can see this greeny color here, which says background color, and then we can change this to whatever we want. And then just like before, we'd basically copy the class name, and then we'd copy um, the background color, and then we'll paste it in. But as I said, I've already got um, the code for you to change this. So under edit with Elementor, we'll go ahead and click on site settings. We'll open this in a new tab. Okay, and that's opened fine. So now we'll actually go ahead and click on custom CSS here. Okay, and I've already added my custom CSS beforehand. Okay, so the first one is Woo AI um, a cart count number, which is a cart count number here. Here for the background, I've changed it to blue. And then for the text color, which is number two, I've changed that to white. Okay. And then the same for the mini cart um, button. Okay. So we've changed the background to black and then the text, the icon color to white. We can also change the hover um, color. What we'll do is I'm going to copy this space paste it again and this time i'm going to put these dots put hover and now we're specifying which color to have for our hover so if you notice when we hover over it before it was showing green now it's um just showing black as well okay and to get your background color what you can do is just google um hex code right you can use one of these tools but google's actually allowing us to um, choose it directly from here so for example when a customer hover I can set this to pink, for example. Okay, then I'll copy this hex code here and then I'll go ahead and paste it in here. So when we hover over it, we can see that it's pink, right? Or purple. Okay, so that's just a quick hack in how you can actually customize the styling. As I mentioned, um, in a future update, we'll have the styling option built in. But for now, if you wanted to play with it, you can use this code here and I'll leave it in the description as well. And that's how you add a WooCommerce sidecart to your Elementor site in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.